Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is a segment where we take a quick look at some of the hottest RV floor plans on the market today. I'm standing inside a 2023 Rockwood GeoPro 19BH. This is a rugged little trailer. It's built for to call it kind of off-road status it sits up on at tires it's single axle this is really kind of a a family adventure weekend warrior kind of trailer we've got a full bed right here up front underneath that automotive grade front glass windshield storage up above led lighting throughout and notice how they've made a barrel roof here it makes it easy for tall people like me to feel like we have plenty of non-claustrophobic space in such a small trailer. After all, this doesn't even have a slide. They've done a lot of cool things though. They've added little power stations at the end there for wireless charging. We have a 12 volt TV behind me here. It's 32 inches. That ties into the battery system, which I gotta say is kind of cool because there is a giant solar panel up on the roof. It's linked to a large solar charge controller. And if we're out in the sun, we're keeping all of our 12 volt systems topped off, which means we're gonna be able to run lights and that TV and some other basic amenities like the refrigerator. Pretty cool, especially with a tandem battery system on board should you choose to option it that way. As a testament to the Rockwood quality, they do some things that I think is really smart. For instance, they've lined the bed area here with carpet so that you don't have your mattress just sitting on a rough grade of plywood ripping up the fabric on it. They've given us a dinette, which could seat four. It's gonna be a little snug, but it can do it. But this also can convert to a bed to accommodate yet another guest, should we choose to take one along with us. The kitchen is pretty well equipped for being relatively tiny. We've got a three burner stove. It's covered up by that glass surface there. We've got a nice strainer here that goes over our single basin stainless steel sink, a high rise faucet for getting those pots and pans cleaned out, a little bit of storage kind of all around it in the form of drawers and cabinetry up high. I spoke of solar earlier. We have our solar monitoring station right here on the wall next to our Magic Chef microwave and our Magic Chef 12 volt refrigerator, which actually does have a pretty decent freezer compartment to it. Across from that, we have our bunks. These are fixed bunks. They're relatively uh, narrow. I'm gonna say they're not twin bed size, but for kids, it's really not gonna be a problem at all. There's storage down beneath, and the bottom bunk even flips up to allow for access from the outside so we can load larger items in and out. It does come with a ladder that hooks right here on the side so that smaller kids can jump up and in and out of that bunk with ease. That's something that uh, I think is kind of a nice inclusion there. In the very back, we have our bathroom. This is a pretty, for the, again, for the size of this trailer, I wanna say that this bathroom is, is fairly spacious. It's got a few things going on that I like. There's the skylight over the tub. We've got a sink kind of built into the shower here. We've got storage around it. This does have the water miser system too, the shower miser, which saves you on water when you're boondocking. We'll put a link up top just to explain how that works. There's a fantastic fan, storage behind me, and a foot flush toilet down low. It almost feels like some kind of hybrid between a wet bath and a standard bathroom because it's small, but it gets the job done. This does have a single AC on board. It's up here on the roof. We're in a 30 amp service camper. So if we're hooked to shore power or a generator, we're gonna freeze this thing out. To run the rest of the controls, it does have a Wii RV panel right here by the entrance. I love these things because they're Bluetooth capable. They have tactile buttons, which actually click. I think that's really nice. And it's just a super seamless and clean design. Let's pop on outside and check out some of the features there. One of the things I love about Rockwood is that's something that you just, you really don't even see with your own eyes. That is that they're building these little GeoPros with six-sided aluminum cage construction. The floor has aluminum joists, the roof, 
has aluminum trusses, making it fully walkable. They've done some other cool stuff too. They've given us insulated baggage doors with magnetic catches. They just snap up and in place. When we look through, we can see that that aluminum framing actually goes through to all of the furniture inside too. So it's not framed up with wood. That just means that's one less thing to rot and deteriorate on down the road. They do have this equipped with a solar on the side plug, which means that if we have an extra panel and we're parked in a shady spot, we can plug it in and drag it out into the sun and charge up those 12 volt systems. This is equipped with the more ride step above stairs at the entrance. We have keyless entry on the lock pad going in and a nice big grab handle. All of this is up under a large electric awning that runs out at the touch of a button and can be controlled with an app on your phone. We even have outside Bluetooth speakers out here and all of our windows are frameless. It just gives it a really sleek look. Rockwood's given us their typical rail system that we see across the lineup with a table and a griddle out here. And as we approach the back of the camper, notice that we have a two inch receiver hitch down low, which is awesome because that's gonna allow us to carry like a bike rack or even like firewood on an extra cargo carrier. We have that ladder that leads up to that fully walkable roof where we have our solar panel, that Max Air fan that we saw inside. It even has a full on Max Air cover over it so it can be run in the rain. This is pre wired for a backup camera, which can easily be installed aftermarket from Furion. And as we round the corner, we see that door, the hatch that leads to the bunk room where we have access to even more exterior storage. Below that cargo access door, we have our tank pulls for dumping out our sewage and our gray tanks. And on all four corners, this is equipped with manual stabilization jacks. I actually kind of like those because they can run up and down with a drill pretty fast and they're cheap and easy to replace if something did go wrong. We talked about those AT tires when we were on the inside. We get a good look at them over here. This just gives it a nice kind of off-road look. Our shore power is on this side right in the center, and they've even equipped it with an outside shower as well as all of our water end points right here at the front. This is the back side of our water heater, and that brings us up to that front pass-through storage that we saw earlier. It's pretty nice having that big of an opening on such a small trailer. It means getting in camp chairs and other large items is gonna be pretty easy. Right up at the very front, we have a rock guard down low, a molded front cap. There's that automotive glass windshield we talked about. Dual 20 pound propane tanks. They've given us some nice loading lights there as well. The electric tongue jack just really brings it all together. Overall, I'd say this little Geo Pro is an awesome choice for families that have weekend warrior adventure vibes in mind. It can host a couple of kids, mom and dad, really easily. I can see putting a bike rack on the back and just going out and having some big adventures. You should definitely come check it out for yourself in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia, or visit us online at southernrv.com. You can follow us on social media as well. And if you have any questions, give us a call at 770-477-0552. Like and subscribe if you love this content. We're putting out new stuff weekly. And until next time, happy camping.